Hello and welcome to another video about Dwarf Fortress. This one we got some weapons, and we got some beasts. Some very deep creature beasts, in fact. The first image we have here is a very nice little image that I've been looking forward to seeing for a while. These are some weapon traps, weapons, and some various other things. Also in the correct stockpiles, but let's not just like dodge around the fact that there's weapons in the correct stockpiles. We also have floors. That looks like smooth stone on the bottom and the top, and also some ice floors uh, in the top left. So that's kind of the first thing I wanted to point out here, but then we got weapons. We got a various selection of weapons. We got pickaxe. Well, I guess pickaxe isn't technically a weapon, but can be used. We got pole arms. We've got swords of various materials, as well as axes and hammers, I think. Uh, and then over on the right, we got spikes, menacing spikes. We got corkscrews, serrated discs. We got balls and I guess large axe blades, I'm assuming is what that last thing is, and uh, some shields in the middle. Yeah, honestly, the, these little stockpiles look really, really nice, and I really like the way the different weapons look. Something I'm very much looking forward to is actually watching the dwarves run around with these weapons, but for right now, this is kind of, I think, the most that we can ask for. Uh, I know that during my interview with Tarn Adams, he mentioned that they just finished up floors, so I guess this is what he'd been talking about. But yeah, these look absolutely excellent, and I can't wait to see more of these and being used, you know, for their correct applications of severing limbs and making things fall into many little itty bitty little jelly bits. So the next one here is pretty simple. We got a selection of different swords and, you know, all the way up from, uh, you know, obsidian and candy swords down to like the basic of gold and, and various other materials, brass, bronze, etc. Steel and iron even. And I, I, once again, really like how these look. Very much looking forward to seeing them being used for their proper applications. Now, you might notice we have a little two-legged friend down here. I'm not actually certain what that is. Is, is that a, like, a, a crundle? I'd have to guess, but uh, it's cute looking. The next picture coming up here has a whole bunch of different creatures from the depths, which I'm very excited to talk about. Now, first off, on the outside, it's worth noting that there's some really, really nice look to the actual walls themselves here. I really, I think that we're, we're getting some, like, they're moving forward with the way the walls look. And I like the little shading around the edges of the walls just to, like, get get, get ahead of it and just kind of talk about that. Because, you know, it's, 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 the, it's the things that we don't necessarily think about as quickly that, in my opinion, are very important about this. Again, we have more weapons, stuff that we've seen already, stuff that we haven't. We've got whips. We've got, uh, you know, spiked whips. We've got uh, ball and chain. We've got more pole arms, various types of axes, cleavers, uh, scimitars, and various other nice weapons that dwarves won't get so often. We've got naked moldogs, as well as uh, some various other creatures, such as magma creatures, the voracious cave crawlers with its massive maw. Those things creep the hell out of me and uh giant ohms i think and uh you know honestly i i really like the way these look i really really do the the style of the uh steam tile set is growing on me the more i look at it the more excited i get about it and uh, i'm assuming that's deep water around the edges of this which i don't think we've actually seen before so what do you think of these creatures what do you think of the weapons uh what do you want to see that you haven't seen yet leave a comment down in the description and let me know and i I'd, I'd love to hear from you if you enjoyed this video, give Bay 12 Games money on Patreon because they're important and they're the ones working on this. And shoutouts to Mayday and Mef uh, who are working on the art for the actual tile set. If you haven't, you should go listen to my interview that I did with Tarn Adams. Link will be down in the description. And thank you very much for watching. Oh, you're still here? Well, I stream six days a week over on twitch.tv slash B-L-I-N-D-I-R-L. That is my stream. And it's a whole lot of Dwarf Fortress. And the streams are archived here on this YouTube channel. So check it out and maybe I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.